<laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, uh, one of the VTubers. Uh, I, it, hold on. This is pretty short. Screen going. Uh, we don't need you yet, Crash. Maybe later. Hopefully not, though. Yeah, hopefully not. Come on. So are we live? Okay. There it goes. Yeah, I was waiting for it to find Dolphin. There you go. This is this is it. This is what I was laughing at. Also, yeah, I see it. By the way, you mentioned about uh, 3DS uh, emulation. Yeah, I looked into it, and uh, Sun Moon is a go. Oh yeah. Yeah, I did a test run with it, and um, it was fine. Which is odd, because considering it's uh, rated on a scale of like uh, not not working too perfect it's not only at a good and it's it seems fine so I'm sure there's probably like little stuff don't they usually tell you how like what exactly isn't working with emulation oh yeah 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 it tells you it's like main like that okay right. so last time we left off just before starting the uh, train chapter which is now where yes. we're at yep oh you're hurt you should probably fix that Ah, it's fine. We got a bet on the train. Also, Heart Gold Soul Silver does something I really like. Uh, uh, for following. DS. The uh, no, the Heart Gold Soul Silver, the uh, remake of Gold Silver. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Following. That's <laughs> yeah. I thought you meant the following game. No, it. it I like that. That's one of the things I liked that they added in uh, Pokemon Clear Crystal, that uh, mod that allowed, that back-channeled all like, these features to uh, Crystal and yeah. made it open world. It was just, I find that I found that to be cute, just like, my Pokemon is, is with me outside of the... Also, Gold Silver, it was like, remember in original Gold Silver, they're like, he found an egg, it's incredible, I didn't know Pokemon could do this, and then... And then the intro in part gold, soul, silver is just them going like, yeah, Oak's wanting to talk to you. I bet he's talking about Pokemon eggs again. <laughs> just like that, that wacky. Oh, that's how we got to get the train ticket by talking to the boss. Yeah, I guess we never did this part. <laughs> France. I want to go to France. I never got to see Paris. Oh, bad boss. You know you can't go to France. From the moment he left the daughter, the great man was fascinated by loneliness. Fascinated. That's by a very loneliness. poetic way to say he was lonely. <laughs> Our head Frank disappeared because the administrators in the desert. You left him. There. Oh man. The terrible punk stylists are stealing our side jobs. Well, we have enough of our thoughts, huh? What can we do for you selves? You sieves. You sieves. You sieves. Luxury Oops. train tickets too fast. Do you like a flip arm card? Ooh, we can do something about this date. It's a date. You eat them. We were bad. Rich, you need to... <laughs> Rich, you need to talk to the boss. I want to go to France. <laughs> Cannot wait to see the leader. If we only know where the baby is born, we see the god. Okay, take the dialogue. You mean of Francesca and Frank? Speak fucking English. <laughs> Do we not see them in Key Keel? <laughs> oh, is that that's a new one, right? Another Key another Keel. new name for the island. Yeah. Who can be now? What did you say? Repeat the date. It was a place, you idiots. Do you know where Miss Planet is? <laughs> wow. I think he just called her fat. I swear to you, when you compete, I will confiscate you. Help! Help you confiscate, sure. That's the place. Why not come back here? Be a friend. 
We go ourselves, but we cannot go if the boss is unprotected, you understand? You bring us new growth. We will do everything possible to get train tickets. Do we have a way? Do we have a way? <laughs> she is the best now. I knew you cannot just deny it if you understand our difficulties, fuck up. <laughs> he looks so sad. Oh, France. I haven't played uh, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Those are the only mainline Pokemon games I've not played. So I'm. Yeah. We'll probably stream them at some point. Okay, I'm saving it for that, I guess. Yeah. I figure if I actually did do, like, a starter in Gold Silver, I would have chosen Totodile. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's a giant alligator. It's it's cool looking. It's like a cu it's cute little lizard mon. It'll grow up to be like a. I guess the next gen we got a we got a grass lizard. Grass snake, snake in the grass. That's the that's the one like Furry's found the sexiest, I think. Nope, not so going to not going to Cortez Cortsy. I know better. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's take the pipe way. Uh, I don't know that, like, Sceptile is particularly popular. You might be thinking of, uh, Superior, the snake from Gen 5. Yeah, that's the one. Damn it. Alright. Number one. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Usually, when it comes up with an error like that, it's stable for uh, for quite some for quite a while. Yeah. Maybe. Found any shine sprites lately? Have we? No, we got a lot of them in the early, in the early part, and then it just kind of. Oh, we got six. Oh. We haven't ultra ranked anybody yet. Hello, wizard. Merlin Merlin House, Great Witch, at your service. Uh, Bob <laughs> can use the direct fan attack. Mr. Mouse can use T's to destroy all enemies. You cannot grow your... Didn't we get the... Oh, maybe we didn't talk to him. No, not 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 yet. Not again. We, we got the arrow, but we haven't delivered it yet, I think. Watching Baki. And the father, <laughs> Yujiro, has gone from being an overtly antagonistic, just straight up villain, worst father ever, to being a uh, like wacky voyeur. <laughs> he just he, he shows up now and again. He pops in on Baki. Hey Baki, how you doing? 
<laughs> Ibaki, you, you have certain Kozue yet? No, Dad! Are you strong enough yet? Do you want to fight Baki? No, Dad! Ah, hey, hey, Baki, I got you a bunch of tissues. <laughs> have you heard about this whip technique? Yeah, that's right. Apparently, he said, oh yeah, my dad told me all about that. Like, when? You you hated him. You were trying to kill him for four years. You're uh, maybe they maybe they called it like made up. <laughs> and the shot was accompanied by uh, like uh, Yujiro looking really intimidating and scary in the background too. Yeah, I just <laughs> like we just you... talked about it while they confronted each other the last time. Maybe they just do that. They're all their all their uh, like. Their conversations, just just them just staring at each other like menacingly, and they just talk about the most mundane stuff. What? They work their way up for, to that. Read, rise arrows, snakes. Of course. Don't you know about science? We well, have to mix certain venomous snakes and insects with certain poisonous plants in a perfect concoction. It's a very impressive rock, therefore this is a star! Years ago I drove this car to a better market. With this I can grow your partner! <laughs> so, you know how it's November now and people call it, like, No, no Nut November? Yes. Well, I've developed a counter to that. N, 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 N. Yeah? Never Not Nut November. Oh, okay. Okay, what, what does ult everyone get from Ultra? You can use Rally Wink until Mario attacks back. You can uh, use Shell you. Slam to attack all enemy sites. Attack all enemy sites. Use Dodgy Fog to make Mario cunning. Yeah. Use Stampede to close all your enemies. All right, and use bombs to confuse all enemies. And we got those uh, two. Uh, I kind of want to upgrade Goombell yeah. before I get both of them though, because she's so. Useful to have out. What does Goombell get from uh, from number four? Uh, Rally Wink, which is the one that gives Mario an extra turn. Okay. Oh, you can do another one as well. Yeah. No, we'll do two. I guess. I guess we should do Mouse because the defense piercing is nice. <laughs> yeah. It, it would be more. It'd be very useful, considering what we, well, don't have. Trying to be more aware. Be more aware. It's it's just so surreal to imagine. Like it, it, Sa Sasuke doesn't go to Orochimaru, right? And from yeah. then on, Orochimaru just kind of pops up now and again. Hey Sasuke, you want to come work for me? <laughs> Never no. attacks him, he just pops up and says things like that, and then okay, and he leaves. And then, <laughs> no, that, except at one point Orochimaru goes up when uh, Sasuke and Sakura are having a moment together, and Orochimaru's like, Fuck her! Fuck her till you can't fuck her anymore, and then fuck her some more! And you, Sakura, you gotta be ravenous! <laughs> That's just actually stuff uh, Yujiro said, was saying to them. Baki's and a Baki. weird series. And, <laughs> okay, I actually, I actually have something I want to read on stream. There's okay. Some of a redditor's re, like re reaction is basic with summing up of the series. <clears throat> Seriously, this anime is just so fucking weird. It's like it's written by a weirdo space alien who only has the faintest but most admiring ideas about how human biology actually works. It's erratic and often grotesque. When something crazy happens, it tries to confuse your brain into submission with a machine gun stream of meaningless bullshit. I dropped my fan, uh, my friend into one episode randomly, and he was angry, confused, and more than a little shell-shocked by the end. It's great to show to peanut gallery with friends that has that so bad it's good quality. I, I can't, honestly though, the only thing I dispute is I don't know if it's a bad series or not. I can't, I can't actually say a test it objectively to its quality because I'm just having too much fun watching it. I think it's average. The, to the, the it, Netflix the one specifically, I said is, yeah. it feels like it's trying very hard to be American. 
to like a- appeal to the to American audiences, or at least like emulating American TV. You don't. We, there was a. It is the Netflix produced series, so that that would that would track. There was a pretty, you know, somewhat explicit sex scene in it that just felt like it was out of Game of Thrones. It was yeah. By the end, maybe of not the quite that explicit, was, but there was like there was like what yeah, like ninety tissues, balled up tissues on the ground. Yeah. They just did it on the floor the entire time. This is and originally the a... implied, Nope. Impl- implied that it went on for days. Their narrator wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, <laughs> the narrator was into it. <laughs> is it, well, it is originally a shonen manga, right? Yeah, it's shonen. I think. Actually, I think it's seinen. Let me look. I'll look it up. I'll do what I usually do in these situations where we don't know when I look it up. I thought those two were right here. Maybe they're, I guess they're deeper in. Yeah, they're probably deep. Probably inside the cave, honestly. Honestly. No, uh, I think, uh, I think they're on the, on the final map at the entrance to the cave. Uh, Shonen. It's not Shonen Jump, though. Uh, Weekly Shonen Champion. Huh. Shonen Champion. Which means it's better than just jumping. This guy's a champion. Huh. I started, uh, I think I mentioned to you, I started Gintama. Yeah, you mentioned that you weren't impressed by it. It's a dub. Uh, so yeah, the dub, dub was pretty bad. It's much... Which is an indictment by you. Like, if, if you say that the dub is bad, then that, that that's a fucking indictment. It's A, very, very flat, and B, it's, it's like, gag dub a little bit. Yeah. And it's a very Japanese series. It's kind of kind of similar to Excel Saga, except like hundreds of episodes long. Oh man, can you imagine Excel Saga just going a hundred episodes? I wonder how much farther the, how much longer the manga lasted. Because uh, it, I know there are like, uh, there's that character that gets introduced in the manga with the spiral hair. Yeah, her. That is like recurring and was not in the. She didn't. wasn't in the anime. Uh, the man. The manga ran from 1996 till. Uh, they don't specify a date in 1996. Uh, oh, it's Seinen. Okay, Excel Saga. Sense. Yeah, 1996 till uh, July 30th of 2011. 1990. Wow, that's a that's a long run. That's 15 years. Yeah. So, so the and the anime, I don't know how much it covered. Probably didn't even cover. It's not a plot-heavy any... series. It's a comedy series, but maybe that maybe it has arcs. Oh, the animation. The anime had a tagline: uh, "Quack experimental animation." Yep, that's what it was. Yeah. Written by Koshi Rikdo and then directed by Shinichi Watanabe. <laughs> Not to be confused with Shinichiro Watanabe, who was the Cowboy Bebop director. Dif- different yeah. dude. You think they get confused a whole lot? Like, like he's he's at uh, Comiket or uh, or uh, Otacon, and uh, oh, and they go up to his booth and they're like, and they're like, hey, uh, hey, are, you're the Cowboy Bebop dude, right? No. Oh, well, I'm disappointed. Like those kids in Ghostbusters who wanted He-Man. Yeah. I don't know what else. I don't, I don't think Shinichi Watanabe did as much stuff. Also, I'm doing this because I think maybe we have to take Cortez in order to trigger a flag. Oh. Because we're not supposed to have access to the pipe yet. That's that's risky. I don't know why um, else they wouldn't be at the island. They should be here. Oh, he did a storyboard for Bleach in 2005. Uh, Shinichi? The Nabashin? Yeah, episode 50. Interesting. What was that? Was that a filler episode? He's he's mostly a storyboard dude, apparently. Like, Metal Fight Beyblade. Uh, what else? Oh, yep. Just needed the flag. 
How to keep a mummy? There was, Jack, this game had a pirate flag. Oh, did it? Nice. We had to trigger the pirate flag for them to appear <laughs> here. The pirate flag. <laughs> what, uh, look up the episode list for Bleach. What was 50? Maybe it was a All filler right. episode. Maybe he did the, the episode where Hanafro one-shot someone. Nah, that's too early for that. How are you? How are you loved? Are you doing? Are we one doing was something? Episode fifty. Let me see. The manager is sick. Bad dad. Oh no! And it's such a time. You see, I I broke Frank's alliance with me. I cannot oh, leave until we get over it. It's a Don Canonji episode. Dude, does it say which one? Is there like a synopsis? Uh, in the world of the living, Don Kenoji searches for a way to save his television show as its ratings could con continue to plummet. He discovers Co Cone, the mod uh, spirit, okay, that inside one. the body of a stuffed animal, decide to make Cone the mascot of his show. Yeah. Kar yeah it, Karakura yeah. King or whatever. With the yeah. spirit lion, which I don't think was ever explained. It was just a random ghost cat. Yeah. <laughs> I oh. broke my alliance with Frank. I cannot leave until we get over it. Otherwise, you can eat something. <laughs> I broke my alliance. It must be somewhere between here and the stone skull. Listen for a second, small coconut extended. I love it when you call me small coconut extended. Cannot forget the newspaper now. Do you see headaches? How could you say that, Frank? This pouch is a symbol of our love. We have it. We have to. Maybe, you do, maybe I do not like it anymore. Of course, of course we love it, my little son. I love it when you call me your little son. <laughs> no funny oh. conversations. You have to tell me that you love me a hundred times. If you love me, you should say so, Frank. I came oh. for the baby. Of course I love you, my little problem. I love it when you call me your little problem. My little problem. In the end, are you crazy? Love you, love you. Love you the best. <sighs> yeah, I don't recognize anything else that this guy did. Well, wait, okay. Gal Gygar. I've heard the I've heard the title. Yeah, it's a it's a giant robot anime. Uh, Isn't that the that's like part oh. of a series, right? What else is yeah. in that? I just I don't know. I it's not my yeah, I don't really watch that genre a whole lot, which I should. It's, it is my jam. Uh, Ice Shield 21, that's that football anime. Yeah. American football, not not European foot, football. And uh, Baka and Test is the only other one I, I, I can see that I recognize. Oh, he directed a loop in the third movie. And... Tenshi Muyo GXP. Oh boy, I think that was the one that aired on Toonami. And it's the only part of Tenshi Muyo I tried to watch. And I didn't get very far. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all I recognize as far as the tutorial works go. Now my little cream, let's get a ring, say! My little cream, my, my honey bunch. My little problem. Is it safe to play safely and not think about it? What does that even mean? It's impossible. Here's a place here, and it's rock! You must know Ring to return to your boss, but how can we get young rings in the desert? Your mind reminds you. Find carbon and you press it over a thousand years. Duh. It's not that hard. Did someone say my name? No, not you, Carvin, the element Carvin. We haven't had him out enough. Well, he's a psychopath. If we leave him out too much, he's gonna kill someone. He thinks he's the messiah. I wish there was more, if there were more... I want a, I want a JRPG, which... <clears throat> which isn't like... I, I, that reminds me, I still gotta play Hylix at some point. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I wanted an, an RPG that's just completely, like, non-standard. There's, like, a quest, and there's, like, ways to get to the end and ways to solve it, but it doesn't involve, like, uh, like, you gotta collect X amount of things in order to 
in order to uh, to like save the universe or anything. No, you just gotta you just gotta follow a ring. Beauty icon in love of Frances Francesco Frankie. Francesco. The ring collection from Francesco Frankie. Oh uh, yeah, it's it's those one. Those are some weird ass fucking commercials where it was just shadow and yet somehow the ring was over it. I you know think I know the ones you're talking about. I think Robot Chicken parodied those. No, yeah. uh. What's the. Dimitri Martin had a sketch yeah. involving those. Yeah, there were multiple ones. Wasting all your money on expensive rings to the point that she gets mad that you have a problem wasting all your money on expensive rings. <laughs> Just go for Wouldn't it. Wouldn't it be you funny if you got her? Another ring. Do it. Just to see what would happen. That's I'm my settled. ring! You found it! Frank, now we can go home to Papa. Well, that was I tagged it. I can really confirm my case is small. Let's go! De Beers, that's the name of the company. We're at the end. Please fucking hurry up! <laughs> Don't be rude about it. It's okay. Her dad is dying. She's under better a lot of stress. Better save. Yeah, I knew it. It is that commercial. <laughs> the with the Dimitri Martin one. Yeah, the, no, or it's just the not original. The original, yeah. Was it? Is it Zales? How else could two months' salary last forever? <laughs> That's the tagline. How else could two months' salary last forever? Okay, Mario, I think it's over. Thank you. Yes, we are. Go to Rogue! Now, oh, Father, wait until you arrive! In France! Like you always wanted to go! To Rogue Porthos? Uh, yeah, that place! Rogue Porthos? That's just his accent. I came, man! To Rogue Porta! By, by the way, I, I should mention that, that there's plenty of other things to prove your love to your significant other than just to get them a, a Did, uh, ring what? with a diamond on it. What do you say? Yeah, you do you could do other stuff besides getting them a diamond ring. Yeah. You get you both could get the same tattoo. It's probably much cheaper and it, again it could mean a lot more depending on what kind of tattoo you get. Yeah. Or or Remember that guy who got a tattoo of Brian dying? Like, immediately after <laughs> Brian died in Family Guy? Dude, that's not, a, that's not a, like, my top ten, like, worst tattoo ideas. The number one that'll always hold a place in my head, like it or not, is the, is the tattoo I saw of, like, Kakashi with his dick out spraying his semen around. <laughs> In a inconspicuous place. It was, like, on the guy's arm, right? It was on... I don't know if it was a guy or a girl, but yes, it was on, like, their upper arm. <laughs> Why? Well, I bet quarantine's easy for that person. <laughs> oh, man. I'm lucky I, I don't Damn have it. a tattoo yet. Because cause I, I had some... I would have some pretty bad ideas for a tattoo I would immediately regret. I'm I think I there's someone. It. There's got to be someone out there with a Monster Girl Quest tattoo. Let me check. Monster Girl series are on the rise. They're becoming mainstream now. You notice that? No. Yeah, well, it's a it's a novel idea. Also helps that uh, anime on the whole has been growing more fan servicey over the decades. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we know what you watch we it know for. know what sells. It's sex sells. I have to sell the anime! <laughs> um, not that I see. Not yet. You could be the first, actually. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm good. Could, why, why not? You get a, you get a picture of Alma Elma on mm -hmm. your chest. You know, it'd be, be Granberia. Yeah, it would be. And you know what? If she was fully armored, that would actually be kind of tasteful. Maybe. No, it wouldn't. 
You'd had someone would ask about it. Oh, that's a cool character. What's there from? Ah, uh, don't don't worry about it. I'll worry. Ooh, oh yeah, the best the best tat Oh, you should reshare the stream. Oh. And uh, I was just saying that uh, that my favorite uh my fa my favorite like tattoo design is a uh, MC Cool Ice. You remember that dude? Uh no. Or Mr. Cool Ice. Not to be confused with Vanilla Ice. Yeah, here, here he is. This is, this is uh, Mr. Cool Ice. The best, uh... Oh, what? Whoops. Daddy, wake uh, up! Open your eyes! Am I in Daddy? France? Is that you, France? <laughs> you should play, you should play some French music. I don't, I don't have any on hand. No, I don't either. There, there's, a uh, Cool Ice. Oh, okay. It's just, it's a skeleton with sunglasses. He sure no, no, is look cool. At the back, look at the back of his head, though. He has, he has sunglasses on the back of his head. Tattooed on. Francesco? Yeah. It's Francesca, Daddy, but yes, I'm here. Daddy. Leader! Oh, my little Francesca. He came, they, he came back to me. The shades. Mr. Cool Ice was wearing them. I did it, Dad. When we feel sick, we fall and hurry. Francesco Frank, I made a mistake. I'm a tough older person. Sorry. I know I'm sorry if I say, but I want somebody here. Do me. I cannot stand any madness. Today I'm an old man. I need world peace. I think it's time to take my stomach. So selfish it caused me all these caused all these problems. Your stomach? Don Piano That's seems to be a gift of unlimited death. Cannot remove aging. What? It's time, everyone. I'm tired. Whole boss! I mean it. I want to have a successor, Frank. What's up, Frank? Today you're a man. You fucked her, right? Yes, boss. <laughs> yes, Yujiro. <laughs> Today you're the man who controls the unity of the plant. <laughs> but boss, you still get it. Six chicken bees. You don't. You do not need it. I mean, me? Boss? It's you, Frank. It w I was a long time ago. Okay, son. Okay. Baki, are you winning, son? <laughs> are you winning, son? Wanted to think about how Francesco was in the Union, like I did. Chef! You, Mario, you seem to have done more, more expensive, child. That's it, boss. Oh, he'll be okay, I know. What did the dude do? Well, we're not leader, leader. We told him we had a ticket to cross the express if he did your daughter. Oh, ho, ho, that's everything? Are you worried about me? So what did you do to my daughter? Come on, Dad, what do you want? One, two, ten, help yourself! Added the A. Train. Stylus train ticket to Poshley Heights. You go if you want, like, get it? You get it? I retire now. I'm here. Father. Head. There's so many different ways boss gets translated. You. Boss. Okay, Frank. We have a lot to do, and do not worry, I want to be okay. Come on, yeah. sweet beans. Stop the nonsense of animal names, alright? Call Francesco. F Francesco? Oh, is it me? Tee hee. What? <laughs> uh, head, you have a faithfulness. We go when we need to, we need a boss. Thank you very much, Mario. Give him everything. You're always welcome. A black like me. What? You're not bad, baby. Ever thought about entering a comic book? This is life, son! 
This was a very strange sequence of events. Yes. I like how this is still explicitly a crime syndicate, and though, and they're just they're acting like warm and happy about it. Yeah, we're the best crime syndicate. Like it, it's belying what it really means in a children's game. Yeah. Don't worry, the mafia is what oh. you say very good. Maybe we should have had Vivian out. We did it. We can go to Poshley Heights now. Put these six crystal stars as fast as possible. Hello, hey! I heard this- Oh, my knee! The sixth star in the crystals is Poshley Heights. It's a good information, thank you! Belda! Oh, damn, we should've. Can you reload it really quick? Uh, when's the last- We'd have to go through the whole cutscene again. Well, you just hit you just hit A over and over, and then that'll be it. Usually, it's the last place you interacted with your creditors, Viviana. One thing tells me it is not a good idea to try. So now you live. Said I could only switch to Poshley Heights and change the Crystal Star before it. Hi, 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 hi. I forgot. I totally forgot that they were. We have to admit, Mario. They go to the Citadels before Poshley Belda. Let it be for Rogueport! I'll come! Everybody does. That's not... That's nothing unique. <laughs> it's the sequel to Everybody Poops. Everybody Comes. What is that? You're, like, getting you used to nocturnal emissions or something? It's, it's the, like the... It's like the teenage book. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna. I'm going to uh, run. Uh, you don't know. You don't. Uh, uh, hold on. I'm just gonna run it. <laughs> okay. What? So, uh, book of book of Mario version of uh, of the the standard Wario uh, rebuttal is you don't understand. It's a wonderful environment. <laughs> We got uh, Warrior World highlights out. Yeah. Always more new content about the world's worst neighbor. <laughs> you just putting stuff through the, the retranslation. No, I now. just I was just laughing. I was just laughing at that. Besides, I I only get like five retranslators before I have to wait a certain amount, so I don't want to. Or they they like they charge for it? Is that one of those sites? No, it's just like hey, I, I I can't I the API the Google API I use only allows a certain amount for a specific computer before before it starts getting errors, so it doesn't work. Come back and try it later. God damn it! I wonder how much we would have had this problem if we'd uh, emulated the first time. Because I have well, run it without the Book of Mario and without the randomizer, and it still occasionally crashed. I just realized, I just learned something, by the way. Yeah? You know in the Avatar The Last Airbender, when the Mick Foley was voicing the boulder? Yeah. They initially wanted to get the rock himself. But he just, he wasn't up for it. I guess not. I guess he's like, no. This is a parody about me, I'm too serious. I don't know why. Maybe it was a scheduling. 
conflict. It's a front. Do you think, what do you think, what would you think of like a, a Mario World, like ROM hack, Super Mario World ROM hack, where instead of Mario going through just levels of his own game, he goes through like worlds themed on other games? It's, I'm sure it's been done. I've probably seen it before. Z Zelda, with like Zelda based gimmicks, like puzzles, and uh, then the next one could be Sonic. Some results in ruins, now we can go to Poshley Station? Best to hurry, know that it's clear of the sixth glass. Sure. Good information. Belda! One thing it tells me, it's not a good idea to try same same dialogue for her. So it's the same dialogue. Oh, He's my. serious! We have to find Poshley Heights before! We have to go to Rogueport now! Well, that was kind of boring. Yeah. Oh well. Maria, right? Email no, the email. Mario. Is there? You want to see that you have hidden technology? There's no desire to destroy, is it? Thank you for saving my friends. I am grateful for your sincere thanks to you. So here are the fees. A lot of creepy cities. Of course, you know, you might find all... Ugh, I cannot do it. Also use this adventure without experience. Boo, scary helicopter. Okay. That was the most gibbers we've had in a while. I can't even translate that. It's just... It's bad enough we got this weird language, but they put an accent on it. God, can you imagine some people having an accent? Mario, you have an accent. No, what? I don't. I don't have an accent. Do I have an you accent? Have a... You have an accent? No, you have an accent. I don't know, Mario. We sound normal to me. Hello, Darian. Hey. It hasn't been too, uh, too bad so far. Had a couple crashes. We're in the train section. What's this chapter called? Three Day Period. I don't know how long they usually last. <laughs> I was about to make that joke, damn it. The Room of Mario. Imagine! Express benefits! Really funny! Three days after Poshley Heights will go fast, oh? Oh. There's something in the world! Big! When did it happen? The mysterious out of bounds save block. Don't go to Poshley Heights! Now get off the train or have a vicious and interesting dream! 
Oh yeah, that's right. There was a fucking, uh... This is a special danger. I don't think Belda places that, right? Well, the truth now seems to be guilty in the train. We have this wonderful threat before we do anything bad or bad. Bad or bad. Oh no. Are you bad or are you bad? Dry, dry drawer. No. Oh, okay. Sand. Right. I think the original dialogue was like a yummy, sticky threat or something. <laughs> now, this is a very dialogue heavy chapter, but most of the NPC stuff is not translated, so. So, unfortunately, we'll have to uh, skip all the non relevant dialogue. Well, that means it'll make this chapter a bit shorter. Welcome to Express Express. I'm a train engine. Vroom vroom! Express Express. The trip to Poshley Heights lasts for three days. And how can you get your products? It's good. The ship is good. The noise of the locomotive is good. We have heard all this more expression. Hello, hello. I am a train engine. <laughs> I am like, I guess some of them are translated. Translated. It, it, that implies that they make more sense. Well, it's translated from one language to another. Yeah, that's normal. Man, you speak normal. Fuck you. Welcome, welcome. This is the dining car. That's normal. Well, you eating stuff is normal. Dining car. Hello, chef. Hello there, children. That's <laughs> where you eat and stuff. Hey, I received a threat. Well, welcome to Extreme Express! I'm the leader! Wait, I thought, I thought it was Express Express. I believe you. Virgin Mary, place from five? Wait, are you calling me the Virgin Mary? Make your home, sir. What's that? Are there any sticky, tasty threats? I see. Be nice to me. When I hear something, I'll tell you immediately. Uh, okay. It's it was Express Express, now it's Extreme Express. What next? What well, that's a kind have? of mundane set of items. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Where's really the ice badge? But... Oh, we could u use that. Wait, ice strike or ice? Is it the one against fire? We will need that at some point, I think. Eh. I can say without hesitation that it has hurt the question. But our attention is important to us. Yeah, can you call me? Yes, the dinner came suddenly and secretly. It's true, this is not good. Hmm. We're going through this. It's an amazing device that affects everyone. Oh, yeah? What is it called? What, sir? Mystery, did you mi Oh, uh, that's the fish. What kind of food is mystery? Haha. Uh -huh. Everyone falls over. I'm known in Pennington. You probably do not like it, but I feel like it. In danger of immortality. We can say that I give my nose to these things. Is he, is he a Bacchano character? Very little, though. My group is important. There isn't a challenge. Me. Uh, is this the part of the episode where the rail tracer comes? It's the rail tracer! The medium term policies are the strongest one, rather than the fact they were done. Does our lead manager use crime, crime and everything? And this, respectable friends, I assume this responsibility. You are a deep woman! <laughs> deep woman? <laughs> Full cuckoo, you? I do not know what you're talking about. 
things that would be awkward to say when when you're having sex with someone. <laughs> uh, thanks. No, it's like she has she has deep thoughts. That's only that's something you would only say if if you, it would be bad if if you had like a tiny dick, but good if you had like a mega schlong. I feel like learning my voice. You understand? Yes. Sorry. Very good. Now we will be strong, will we not? This, I believe, will happen with mind. Hmm, yes. Yes, with mind. I want to look directly. So what do we know- what we know now? We do not know who the wizard is! <laughs> I think that's right. Right? The wizard. This place is a full square. I forgot. I'm returning to my room. Mm, okay. You there. Take me back to your room. Eh? Oh, he's Canadian. You are, sir. You look... You are very skeptical. I broke the case. A real crime, I think. Zipper is a frog. An actor. Okay. Zipper. The Zipper? Oh, it's zipper. The Zipper. No way. God's detective. Zipperman. <laughs> you are still amazing. You... You are on board. Sean Tweedy. Tweedy? Tweedy. I cannot say I deserve the word problems, but well then, who did it or not? It's translating names to other names. Somehow. This puzzles at every stage of the game. Wasn't Tweedy the bad guy from Chicken Run? No, Tweedy was the yellow bird that antagonized Sylvester. No, with, like with a D, though. I can always look it up. I've seen... I've seen Chicken Run. No one escapes Miss Tweedy's farm! Uh, let's not see. the bandit, you would... Uh, this, okay, this is normal. So this is like a cutscene, but it's not translated. Yep, Mr. and Mrs. Tweedy. There are traces of something on the carpeting. Oh, they're making a sequel on Netflix. Oh, uh, the, okay. The sometime after 2021. <laughs> how how <laughs> wrong is it going to look if they make a CG chicken run instead of, you know, claymation? You know, I think claymation would be cheaper. It's so also... Well, I don't know about that. It's very hard. Well... Time-consuming. What, you ha all you need is a digital camera, some clay? We like, can go down the road of the thief, Mario! Hello! You can be the same boy, a sharp, beautiful, and terrible note. I think you had a bad influence on me. What is it? I think it's gone. Whoa, what do you want? Sorry. You're talking kitchen sink? Oh, come on, I'm not that fat. <laughs> Food stole you and you denounce a bad boy. Not nice. Are we going in the desert? No, I would not know. No, people divide things. And it's not inside, so you do not have to look. You cannot find anything. I don't know anything about smidgen for any frying pan. If you don't trust me, you can check the account. I mean, wait, don't do that. Some gourmet magazines. One of them is reserved for fast food. Yeah, that seems normal. She is not preparing for big pictures. His smile was glittering. Well, okay, no, I'm, I'm wrong. There's something inside the magazines. Container. Empty oven looks like a clean nut. I'm just imagining Mario just little flipping through the magazines and then suddenly a fucking... A frying oh! pan falls out. Just... Me. I hate everything. Me, you! So, you want to steal the steak to eat more. And did you steal a pot when he was born? Answer. Yes. Yeah. I'm very sad, but it was a small weakness. Prost, joy, stupid. 
Justice Server, I am so happy. Do not be afraid of this terrible. And you, gentlemen. Yes, take care of the hair of your face. My inspiring anxiety is an instinct that allows you to create a scratch card card. <laughs> the redundancy's back. Now we're talking about the no that note in our room. Yes, I know. As detective on this train, the manager has trusted me. But we cannot stay here. Find Space 6 to speak privately. Oh, please bring the coffee back to the chef. I'm sorry, the cause of all the problems. Man, fully filled with soup. Man, it's a good thing I ate before I started streaming. Alright, so... What are, so, what are some uh, famous anime train scenes? Uh, uh, well, obviously the Rail Tracer. Uh, right. I don't know how famous it is, but there was the Full Metal Alchemist episode with... Uh, was it a guy with a cyborg arm? Right? Oh, yeah. He was like a yeah. terrorist who attacked the train. Yeah, then there was... Uh, then there was jo Jojo episode, uh, Part 5. Uh, Beach uh, Boy. Beach Boy. <laughs> I got one! You're the hero of my life. You gave your skin! Obviously, it's empty, and I did it. And I love him? Thanks to you, from me. Here's my strong thanks for a little taste. Confirm. Why can I kill this language with shame? That means me! He's not the only one killing the language. Careful, microphone. Don't fall. Again, I can't say famous, but I can I can think of just train scenes in anime. There was the Slayer season three had the Gollum train. Oh the, yeah, that's the giant right. ancient magic. The ruins started moving. Yeah, and and, the, and it was fucking saying like now departing to. God, Slayers was fun. It was weird, but it was fun. I've been waiting. In this latter case, I was struck by your work, I must admit. But I do not think there's any doubt about your stench and fatigue. Our stench and fatigue. Due to the lack of barrier caused by the room. I have to tell everyone, I think you've hidden jobs for the detective work. That's why it is decided, I will make you my new servant. What? Me? Start again, my name is Pennington. I'm a detective from the Poshly High. <laughs> I know in some circles like penguins with big brains. I'm sure he's heard from me, so it's the only thing I, I will talk about. We're talking about how smart you are. As for your name, wait! I do not want you. I will note your identity. And that's it. Nose hair. Oh, everything is very easy. You, sir, of course, are Luigi. Are very popular. <laughs> no need to come in the future. I know all about the famous Luigi. Now out with this threat. The husband has announced that he intends to train. Sticky, sticky, delicious. This alms family. Bob! Surely suspicious. You, you know, uh, Slayers is if, uh, is if Luigi was, like, the star of an RPG. You, you think so? Why's that? I think, yeah, because, because doesn't Lena have a, have a more famous, like, swordsman adventurer, Luna? Uh, I don't know about more famous. She's more powerful scarier. Yeah, she's like a chosen one or something, but she doesn't want to do it because, uh... Reasons. Or because she... For some reason, she thinks Lena is more suited to the job. Luigi, we'll reduce this case with real facts and block the truth. Uh, apparently the sister Luna is like, uh... She's like a, a, a knight of the gods of, of the Slayer's verse. Oh. And has been stated to... She has, like, a blessing of the gods and is on equal power to Zelos. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lena has to... He gets her power from dark magic. Ah! When did you last save? Uh, last time I passed the save block. Oh. Hmm. Which was on the way to return the pot, so we'll just have to mash through some cutscenes. Alright. There's so much Slayer's lore. Like, the author thought about so much, he went into so much in the books, and yet 
A, so much, so much of it was not animated, and even then, I think a lot of it wasn't really answered in the books. I wonder if he's still ma I wonder if he's still making them at all. Uh. Oh man, I don't know. It's an old series. It's a shame to have it with just a bunch of unanswered questions. Uh, I could look it up. Let me let me see if. Uh... Oh, by the way, remember to reshare the stream. Yeah. The author is named Kanzaka. Oh, there's a Kanzaka Dex. Yeah, that's where a lot of the lore is. Uh, like we know two of the two of the four Dark Lords of Slayer's existence, because we had Shabernigdo and Darkstar, and then there's two others that we just know nothing about. I need to return the pot, that's right. Um, let's see. There's uh, the main series of novels, Slayers. Uh, the first eight books were the basis for Slayers and the Slayers next anime series. And then there was a manga. And then the other seven novels were never animated or made into manga. And there was Slayer Special, which was serialized in a something called Monthly Dragon Magazine. Published in book form from 1991 to 2007, with a total of 30 books. When well, when was the last uh, when was the last novel? Oh, um, according to this, uh, June 30th, 2005. Okay, so 15 years. He has he hasn't been making any more. Yeah. So we watched uh, Revolution and Evolution R, right? Yeah, we've watched we all the watch anime. We didn't watch any of the movies. I have watched all the movies. I haven't. They're okay. They're they're more along the lines of the. All of them are Lena Naga, except for oh, they? one of them, which has the anime characters, and it was still the same kind of spirit of just being, you know, a silly little comedy movie. Uh, Slayer's Gorgeous, I think, is the one with the. With Amelia and Delgadis. Yeah, yep, seems like it. What was that going? I guess back to my room. The manga was known as Slayer's Medieval Mayhem. Huh. Oh, but it's only one book, Mama. Then Slayer's Super Explosive Demon Story. Slayer's Special, Slayer's Premium. Slayer's Knights of Aqua Lord. The Revolution Evolution R adaptations. Slayer's Legend. Slayer's The Hourglass of Thalish. Is. And, uh. Slayer's Light Magic, a manga which features Lena Inverse and Gowry in a science fiction setting. Okay. What? <laughs> Hunter x Hunter never had a train scene, it had airship scenes. And the back of the train is just cursed. Oh man, he got the bone of uh, Cortez in the back, or Cortzi. Sorry. By the way, uh, the two two of the primary characters are Lena and Gowry, but uh, but uh, apparently uh, it also focuses around uh, the youth Light Inverse. Huh. Is the the spinoff the sci-fi thing? Yeah, Light Inverse. Let's see. Yep, he looks like a pilot of some kind. <clears throat> Young boy, age not specified. So, is, is he their kid? <laughs> the future descendant, probably. So the inheritor of Lena's genes! <laughs> we still gotta watch that movie! We have to watch whatever that up. weird... Is it the third <laughs> live-action Death Note movie? Yeah, yeah. Though Light and Lena have the same last name, it has not been said if they are in any way related. Though later his future is revealed to be an alternate universe. So a direct relationship is unlikely. However, he still keep it related to this universe's Lena inverse, assuming, assuming one exists in this universe to begin with. 
One of the one of the Slayers movies had to do with uh, with like the Sword of Light and Gowrie's ancestors who were elves. So that was kind of neat. Oh yeah, Gowrie's half elf or quarter elf or he's got elf genes. <laughs> Use your brain and imagine a little louder. What can I say? Bubble is small. It's your gift. It takes more. Dear and glittering. I think we'll get some classic, classical, advanced classics from Bob Omery. <laughs> oh my god, triple. It's very classical. Triple. Two words, cheap and boring. Think, dear to me, can a car or house? Do what? The bub is too small. The bub is too small for such things, Gold Bob. Think about your social status. He needs something that further develops his or her education, or destroys it. Either or. Either or. We'll seek or swim. I do not want anything to talk about. Nothing. At all. Hello, my lord! Looking for a master when you're done? What? Do you know what I want for my birthday? No! Oh, you came? Try to find out what I want. Uh, okay. If you bring what I really want, I'll give you something. Here's the offer. It starts with an A. Got it? It could start. It's a certain person's signature. That doesn't start with an A. Shut up! Zip, right? Uh, no. It's actually... Ah! It's Crash Bandicoot's <laughs> signature. streams. Apparently, uh, Zelos appears in, uh, in the, the Slayer's, like, sci-fi spin-off. I'm not surprised. He's one of the most popular characters. Yeah. I'm still disappointed that, uh, like, the main team in Naga never explicitly met. They just, they weren't willing to do it. They teased nope. it in that one movie, and the closest we got was the armor in uh, Evolution R. Yeah, being obviously her. Which, man, they could have just gone all the way. Just do it. No. You can't do it, but just do it. They were really, like, they. I, I don't remember... Were we aware that that uh, uh, Naga and Amelia were sisters when we watched it? Um, I think you told me or something. They I mean, they put a lot of stuff in, like nodding to that. We're rewatching uh, Evolution R. God, Slayers was really good. It's one of those things I'm disappointed that they're not ever going to go back to. Yeah. It was just really good. No one at Bleach took the train. There is no train, it's medieval. In, like, the human world Bleach. Oh. You'd think that, like, high schoolers commuting is a common thing in Japan. Just... Nope, No, they just live bleach. close by. They don't need to take the train. Besides, I heard I heard that a creepy girl called Lane takes the train. Oh. We don't want to have anything to do with her. She's... She's weird. What does that little bub kid want as a present? Uh, I'm sure he'd be stoked to have an autograph of mine, right, guy? I can't do it. I only sign for chicks. Okay. I only saw it for chicks. I wonder if there's dialogue if you talk to Bub after that. Because we've always, we've known what to do and we've always gone to the... He want, he actually wants the train, like, driver. Conductor. Oh, yeah. The, no, in this version, he's the, the train name. engine. Thomas the Tank signing the fucking...
<laughs> oh, that's right. You're supposed to deduce it by talking to this guy out here who talks about... I heard the family struggling with light. One thing I hear very well, the young dream is to is a railway engineer. How beautiful, a dream for rich children. <laughs> you don't suppose that Bub wants something from a person he admires. Whatever it is, we'll have to find it quickly or we'll end up yummy and sticky. What? Yummy and sticky. That's not what I remember the threat saying. Yummy and sticky. That, that was Will the original the threat. That's like just one of those words that immediately makes your game incredibly like childish. Is the, the, the word yummy. And tummy. Any <laughs> ummy word. On me, on me, on my tummy. And you're just like, grow the fuck up. Imagine if you were watching Baki and somebody was eating, and somebody's like, hey, hey yummy, yummy, in my tummy. And, and it's Yujiro. <laughs> <laughs> and no one dares make fun of him for it. God. You know, <laughs> I still like that scene where what? it was after. Oh no, that's not a good sign. It only just loaded. <laughs> the game is given up. It's it's just like I I'm big I'm through being tortured. You've made a mockery of me for your entertainment. We're not laughing at you, Dolphin, we're laughing with you. I'm not laughing. My code has been torn out and put back together. I can barely recognize myself. Look at what you've done to me. Hey, Baki, what are you playing? Can I watch? <laughs> are you winning, son? <laughs> Seen any totally good movies lately? Hey, hey, hey Baki. Because he's always wearing the same face, too. It's the same big, dumb, brute smile Yujiro has. He <laughs> just walks up and just sits down and just has a, has a beer. Hey, waiter. Nice day we're having, right? Apparently, okay, is... it, apparently in the manga, he once made Trump salute to him. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he once toward, told uh, George... What the fuck? You saw that, right? Yeah, that's been happening. Oh. He's been telling, he told once George W. Bush, that your, your command over the country and your command over the car both suck. Oh, okay. It's just a habit of him to just make fun of whatever American president there is. Trump would die if he met Yujiro, right? He'd do what, something just... to piss him off. That is a good question. Maybe? Like, Trump is dumb, but he's fearless. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't, Let's go get I don't the wanna, autograph. I don't want to think about politics right now. Not when it's a day out before... November 2nd, day. one more day. I'm going to either work or take a nap throughout the entire election day. I just want it to be over already. Hello, Mr. Train Engine. Can I have your autograph? Running this train during the sunset is the high point of every day for me. But didn't I... Oh, I got. I gotta talk to the guy in the back. I gotta trigger all the flags. Mario's not allowed to be psychic. Sorry, Luigi. <laughs> I've been playing uh, Rock of Ages 3. It's still fun. Yeah, it's still a good game. Just not... It's not different enough to merit streaming, I figured. Yeah, that's what I figured as well. Are the cutscenes any different? Oh, uh, yeah. It's got new cutscenes and everything. Ah. Uh.
uh, one of the one of the bosses is like uh, like a fighting game, Mortal Kombat parody. Oh. Like you're on a 2D plane fighting a dude as the boulder. They do That's some weird so... stuff in Rock of Ages. Yeah. Well. Cool. They should continue to do weird stuff. This is weird stuff is what they seem to be good at. You play anything lately? Uh, I've been replaying uh, Dusk. Or I've been playing through it the first time, rather. I've never beaten it, so I'm playing through that, and then... An Elysian uh, Tale? No, du uh, Dusk. Dusk. The first-person shooter, and uh, it, you're fighting through, uh, like, hillbilly country. Uh, That's a little guy. Of course, yes. Here you are, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Uh, Added the wake-up. Airport! God, I was not given a previous signature. That's nice! Uh, beat uh, Doom Plutonia. Is that a mod? It's a, it's a expansion. It's an official expansion for Doom. And it's, a, it is like, really hard. Which is like, oh, hot dog. I'm gonna play through Doom Plutonia. Is on Pluto? And, no, it's like... It's like they, they made Doom into a hard type. Like, uh, like, uh, mod. Not quite Kaizo hard, but still pretty hard. It was, it was, it was fun to play through. Every Doom mod is canon. <laughs> oh, man. And then, what else? Uh, what do I got on my list? Um, oh! Acquired, uh, Sonic Mania recently. I've been playing that. You find what you need? Wake up. No, yes, bingo, boys! What does he want? What is sport art? Here's something for you, as I said. It's a Polish sprite. Thanks to the autogram. I care about it, I promise. So you say things like that, I think you're just being polite. I have Sonic Mania, but I haven't played it. I don't know if I was holding off on it or... It's pretty... It's a pretty beautiful game. It's well animated. Um, they added uh, something called the drop dash, where if you jump and then you hit the button again and hold it, you can dash again. Uh, can't even sleep. Can't even sleep without crashing. God, th why is this train... Is it because of the moving background? Is that what's going on? I don't know. It was the case with the island, it was the case with chapter 4 as well. It's been an every chapter thing anymore. Man. Well, it hasn't been nearly as bad this time as uh, Quartzy. Oh, how's it gonna handle the, the, the schmorg? With like the the 500 objects on the screen. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. We'll find out. Three-day journey by train. Well, it could be more than three days in our case. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Okay, this setting, like you, you, you're on a three-day train trip, but Groundhog Day. <laughs> Your entire the... life is now on a train. And it doesn't ever end. The, at I mean, least the guy, of... Groundhog's Day, he was. It was like a, a day he woke up at his house, right? I think he woke up in a hotel room. Uh, that's the kind of day I would not want to be reliving. Is waking up at a, at a shitty, cheap motel room. I think it was a fancy hotel room. 
Well, that's that's a lot that's better. Yeah. All right. I'm looking up. I'm looking it up. Uh, Marmy Weatherman for local TV news station in Pittsburgh. Oh no, no, it was a bad hotel. What if it was a really shitty day? Like, L uh, Lundergaard has to relive the day he gets arrested. Oh, God. Okay, uh, did somebody actually did a fanfic with that trope in My Little Pony. It the, was, the uh, Groundhog Prince, Day? Yeah, Prince Blue, Blue Blood at the, uh, at the... The gala? The, yeah, the Grand Galloping Gala. I want to relax, bed. Like, is he trying to to do better each time or something? I don't know. Because it's like in the, in the original Groundhog Day, uh, he doesn't, uh, Bill, uh, Bill Murray's character doesn't know why this is happening. Yeah. And eventually he just decides, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do better. And then it's the, it was the loop that count, counted. You don't want to, like, fuck around and destroy everything, because as soon as you do that, that's the loop that's going to count. Yeah, you don't want to fucking do that. Time-eating hobby. I'm glad I talked to you. I found something suspicious. I have my banner when I sent them to the travelers. I paid for my last passenger item, but it was a shop. I have blankets. That means someone came to the ship without a ticket. This suspect can be estranged, dear Mario. If I do not come back today, I may be too cold. If you can find the tourist and take this blanket, thank you very much. We are Manta P.I. Manta P.I. <laughs> Damn, that's a good name for something. That's like a team of P.I.s. Oh! Uh, there was a, a, mo a horror movie called Happy Death Day, which involved, like, one character getting killed over and over again, and she has to find out who keeps killing her. I think I saw ads for that. It was, like, a like a horror comedy. Something like that, yeah. Oh, I watched a horror comedy recently with my family called Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Yeah. It begins with, like, some college kids, like, going to, like, the forest to, like, party, to, like, go camping. Right, and then, uh, and then like a couple of rednecks drive by them, or hillbillies. Sorry, not rednecks, hillbillies drive by them, and they encounter them again at the store, and they're all freaked out by him because they look like hillbillies. And then it switches the hillbillies' perspective, and they're looking at him like, "Man, what are these college kids doing here? Hey, Tucker, you should, you should, uh, hey, Dale, you should go talk to him. Nah, Tucker, I can't. Look at what I look like. Oh, it's the ghost. So he found me." You can see spirits. Yes. I'm angry I'm at this place. Yeah, fuck this train. It keeps eating our saves. Oh, the director's to the left. I did not know it was a ghost. Hard and catchy threat? Oh, nothing. I cannot contain physical objects like pen and paper. The bed is next? Yes, I'll tell you if you do anything about me. What are you saying? Pleasant? Pleasant. Everything I need. I'm just kidding. Nah, just kidding. No, 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 just kidding. I've died in this cage for years. But I still think that my load is in the body of the car. I have a paper bag from a little baby. And I'm afraid someone will find it and read it to contact me. Can't we go out? That's how you know where the blankets are. Don't dare not read the newspaper. Okay, I'll read it then. No, wait! Awful destiny awaits. You think it was translated? Uh. There's barely any text to it anyway. You wanna, you wanna take a look? You can go right ahead. Ah, there's, it's, it's like half a line of dialogue is all it is. Man, what if there was a Mario game one day and then Mario and Luigi just switched colors? Yeah. Just to fuck oh, like the Super Show. Oh. <laughs> All oh, the animation errors. I I remember that uh, that there was that YouTube video 
called uh, Luigi, or was it Mario or Luigi's like racist uh, Chinese cowboy impersonation? Is so offensive that Mario's stomach ulcer explodes. Yeah. The Day of Wrath! Magazines took the spirit. You will not be able to read it. Oh, here we go. Uh, there. This is this is an interesting idea for uh, for a Groundhog Day style fanfiction that I just read about. Uh, heroes never die. It's how Izuku's quirk works. Every once in a while, it gets caught in a loop. He has to figure out what he has to do to escape it. Loops are usually only a few minutes long and are reset by his brutal death. He puts a suicide bill on his hero uniform so he can reset it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so all yeah. all those really creative ways he comes up with to survive being in a hero school without any powers. That's like his 20th time that he's been through that scenario. Yes. <laughs> Why won't you die, Izuku? Fuck. You know, that'd I make did. more sense for Jojo. With as, like, ludic ludicrously obtuse as some of the solutions to beating the bad guy is in that series. Oh, yeah. You think you think that could be like a like a JoJo villain is a guy who can reset his uh, his death? And we've done that though. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, apparently, you know how Canon Izuku is like very nervous uh, sometimes, but uh, apparently his power, his quirk, has left him with a very blase attitude towards life and his peers, and is generally described as weirdly confident. Yeah. He is very reckless. Yeah, apparently his quirk is called Death by Design. Okay. He still gets one for all. <laughs> I like this, actually. You read, you can be a soul like me, but now I can calm the world. Thanks. You will never see this world again. Kissing. Kissing. <laughs> this is oddly dark. For, well, there's always actually, usually maybe booze. not. I've been here for a while, I use a little. Bottom is so good, maybe I'll be a little more. I can stop at any time. That's all. That's what they all say, I can quit any time I want to. Ah. You're a ghost! You're addicted to life! You gotta leave! It's over! I can quit any time I want to. You've outgrown your mortal life, you gotta, you gotta with sin. No. With all the other boosts because surround him. This is an intervention. You need to let go. How is Mr. Mario? Thank you very much. I'm comfortable here tonight. Of course, our evil and tacky creators are still amazing. Our evil attacky creator. This is just a get a gesture of gratitude. Fungus. Yeah, you cannot take the fungus. Get rid of the dry sand. She resisted her life. Do not worry, because they are also the glory of Express. Villain with a Groundhog Day loop. He's actually very weak, but every time he dies, he's able to learn more and more about the loop that killed him. And the point of it is not to kill him, but, but to, like, make him wish he was dead. Well, that'd be a frustrating series to watch if it was the villain who came up with all the clever plans to thwart anything the hero does. Yeah. I guess that's Although, kind that of... Point, that's Naraku, though. At that point, you'd want, you'd want to be rooting for the villain. Okay, here's here's what happens. Exactly, right? that's the problem. <clears throat> so you have the hero have that kind of power, where his uh, his ability is that every time he dies, he goes back in time like five minutes to prevent it, and the, the villain it seems invincible. Uh, he has like a host of like wildly <clears throat> invincible powers. Yeah. Yeah. So so that way you'd want to root for the for the hero. It's the next day.
Rogueport, Hoxie. The 25-year-old local mystic Mer Lovely was taken to hospital today, followed by an annoying fan base. In any case, Mer Lovely, a hospital spokesman, said that Shanghai's eight peanut butter suffered somewhat more severe than the wild digestive tract deaths. Divine Obdivic screams that the power of his plow is full of stakes, but cannot make the reporter unable to predict the stomachs in the first place. Let's go to Keel Hall Galleria. We're proud to see the business spirit that has led to the release of the Free Divinity. I did not want to do anything I've ever done, says Evil Toys and a former fighter. Call me Invincible Store Manager. I'm 100% serious. Print it. We want to make every ep ep effort to make both the carpet and the carpet cut. Brokery Tips. Listen to the newcomers because there's another recipe for temporary use here. Today's cube is a unique peach paste. Peach peach, mix cake, mix and bake added. Try this one, teenager. Node of education. Thank you for reading. The best nasty roots. Check out the following problem. Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. <laughs> Man. Euphasia Simulator 2010. Or 20, whatever this this mod was released. You know what? That's the that should be the title of an RPG written like this. You just call it Euphasia. We had three JoJo villains in a row whose power was related to manipulating time. That seems to be his, uh... Sorry, not Euphasia, Aphasia. I, I, I misspoke. Hello. Not good if I do not know, I'm definitely fired. Oh no, poor you. Luigi, baby, your moment isn't interrupted. New file appeared. Well, Mr. Business, explain the facts to your husband, Luigi. Okay, here's the deal. When I got up this morning, I ran out of the basket. This includes the entire prototype of our business contracts and new products. If you're not getting a job, I will lose mine. Keep calm now, the next part is important. Luigi is very slow. Hey! Of course, of course, a new kind of product is secret ESP, honey. Correct use is a wonderful product that can be called death. When mixed with the calcium orange peel, the results are broken. As a result, the export sells a sticky and fun silk. In the wrong hands, I may lose my job. We investigate facts, right? Someone stole your clothes in the trunk. Although it had to be yesterday. Hmm. And the train does not end at all. I have it. Experimental, my dear Luigi. Experimental! There is a train on the front. Aha. Luigi, did you speak to a waiter and a woman with vodka? Both have lost something on this train. The servers lost their ears. And Miss Toodles lost her gold ring. The same person who stole this product is also the Nitro Ball Ring. They can explode. They can stop the note. So it is simple, Luigi. You must get a thief. Before starting this uh, unexpected plan, we have to suspect the suspect. Yeah, that's usually how how it works. Okay, let's go suspect the suspect. You must suspect. ESP, honey. It's a life card. Very important and difficult. Wow. 
Who's Ujiro now? Isn't he Patrick Seitz? I think so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm still always gonna hear the, the first dub voice, though. It, it was just goofy enough. Have you ever found new advice? What is this website? So, can you have a sign? This is one of the offers for upcoming transactions. I mean, yes, as I doubt it. Luigi, why do you see this work as important? At one, tell me, yes, Slaughterhouse Zip, a place that I have long suspected. He came, I do not think I saw him. Then he could hide, a train, always a step ahead. Very nice, baby Luigi. Find this postal code. Zip. They, okay, so Zip Toad got translated to postal code. <sighs> I guess that makes sense. Oh no. Somebody what? made Critical's face into a flashlight. Oh. Oh boy. Is it self moistening? Are you just googling things? No, it just it just popped up in my feed. Because I'm subscribed to Critical, and Critical is just he just he say he, he put it he put that was the title of the fucking video is my face was made into a flashlight. He, <laughs> oh god! Sometimes some days I wish I had his confidence. says, like, hey, dude, there's someone in your room. I'm hearing noises. <laughs> Seems there's someone in your room. I heard some rustling sounds. It's good to have a ghost as a friend. Thanks, ghost buddy. Could it be interesting? Interesting. Another written suitcase. The suspect must be here somewhere. Luigi, out. Zao, where are you? But it's not so easy to understand, boy. You. Gotcha. Why, wow, you got him really quick. This man, all of us, Krupus is like Zip. I see it. At the same time, there are things that can be combined to help the poorest plan. Yes, what I said. You're all counterfeit all the time. Yeah, my hair, my running nose. No, but I knew you had a Luigi threat. Fuck! I like the river station. Yes, you play brave and bright mothers, my false friends. But now the enemy of sin and the good people of this train are safe. Right, sir, no one can escape this great brain. Oh, whatever, this way. Give at least what you brought, beautiful. Bleh. Desk. Bag heavyweight bottles containing information about Nitro Ground. Gold ring? Has disappeared, it seems very expensive. Oh, hey, we found the ring and... Peas shells. Eads? Just... Lost his servants? The old disappearance. Dear leader, Shark Nitro Boy is safe? No. Give me! No. Okay. Thanks, the stars of security. It will not take the bag. Our tensile strength is neutral to my most significant disruption. Careful, all passengers. This train stops shortly in Riverside Station. Oh, we're done with the we're done with the train. Oh wait, no, that's right. We gotta we gotta actually do a dungeon. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, that's just the error. 
fine. I think we're still good. Sorry, Riverside Center. Don't think so, Slick. Can you support me? No way. I'll stop when I leave. Hey. All zip tops are just the way to reach your destination. Suck me. Suck me. Duply. Mario, your rotation plan does not work well, so I'm running away. I'll leave the rest to Belda. Look, damn it! All right, now now we gotta now we gotta fight. We gotta see if this boss will will uh, destroy the game. Well, we gotta go through the whole thing, and then we get back on the train, and then we have something to do on the train before the actual boss happens. Yeah. You think we should stop for now? Oh, uh, yeah, this would be a lot, this would have been, like, done already if we hadn't crashed a whole lot, I feel like. It's just been, like, one setback after, and I wanna drive it. Yeah. Like, that's normal. What'll we do? Someone raise the suspension. Well, it's a good thing that, uh... He must go to the conference room, but this change is not used until I know where the commercial space is. Of course, the passengers are asked to do this on pro do on this protocol, but... Marius and her beautiful sister can graduate? Aw, oh, that's sweet! I'm the beautiful sister. I'm not sorry. This game literally gives me a headache sometimes. This version. Just trying to decipher it. Oh, it just, I can't, I can't like, my eyes just want to slide off it. It's like reading elder text. It's just read, just reading the, the, the garbage, like, like, uh, language. Just trying to decipher it is just like, it's overwhelming. My dear Luigi, our suspect was not only a fake zip toad, it was some monstrous being in a white sheet. Okay, that's normal. That's too normal. So should we stop for now and come back next time? Let's stop for now. Let me give him a chance to digest all this, uh... Yeah, you, you sound kind of overwhelmed. <laughs> this, this whole... This was just nothing but text. There was no combat at all. Yeah. And, and it's just like... This is not my favorite chapter. It is all no. fetch quests, basically. Yeah, yeah. Next time we have the actual dungeon part, though, and then we yeah, have, we uh... Be... Which will probably crash, like, 50 times, but you I, know I what? don't At know, least we'll see. Minimal amount on the train. Yep. Minimal well, amount that's... at Poshley Heights. Yeah, well, that's it for us today. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you next time.